Excuse me, little dog. Hi, guys. Well, <laughs> I'm sure you guys will have a big laugh at this. So what I have been of I mean, it is a frosty Monday night, November 21st, 2022. And so I am already dreaming of my tropical vacation that I will starting in like two months of uh, dealing with this shit. You're all the stranded snowbird already dreaming of my tropical vacation this year. So uh, I have spent how many fucking hours, how, how many days? The, the last five days what I have been doing is, uh, is uh, you know, studying Suriname. Uh, I was going to go spend the month of February in Suriname. And, uh, good God, I know more about Suriname now than people who have lived there half their lives. All right? I know everything about that goddamn country. Uh, I already had my restaurants picked out, the Airbnb that I'm staying at, the figuring out how to get to, you know, look at the Amazon rainforest while I still could. Uh, you know, I, I order the damn books that are going to be arriving tomorrow from Amazon. And when was it? Uh, it was three days ago, I think. I said, you know, you just need to check out those, uh, that Corona panic vaccination. So I, I go on there and, and try to, and it, I, I don't know, you're all the, uh, I only spent, five years in journalism school, I guess. Maybe I needed a sixth year of, of journalism education about how to research topics. So I go on there, the, the, the damn thing from Suriname, you know, they speak Dutch there. They, they don't even speak English. So I go to, you know, look at their website, trying to make heads or tails out of it. It looked to me like uh, if you were not vaccinated for goddamn Corona panic, you just had to show a negative test. Uh, well, obviously something got dropped in translation and, uh, by the time I got my third, uh, warning today, I've, I've had three people, three alert listeners go, Hambo, you do understand that you need to have a Corona panic. Uh, vaccine to go to Suriname. And I'm sitting there, oh, no, you don't, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, you know, when the third one came through, I said, maybe you uh, should go do a little more research. Well, guess what, guys? I will not be going to Suriname. I will not be going uh, to see the Amazon rainforest probably ever again as long as I live. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> the great trip to Suriname, the Suriname fantasy is over. So it looks like uh, my buddy and I, we're just going to be gringo tourists. And we're going to, uh, it looks like we're going to go to Belize and the Yucatan. Just We're just going to be boring, good old gringo tourists. And... Uh, I don't know, little dog. Do you want to go to Belize in the Yucatan? Well, maybe I can drive. I, who knows? I might actually end up just driving down there. Uh, who the hell knows? But you know. <laughs> oh, God. I guess it's better that I found out now than uh, when I got to the airport and they were asking for my my uh, little vaccine certificate. So uh, that's the end of Suriname. So... Uh, Anyway, if anybody has any any recommendations for uh, the Yucatan or Belize, uh, please email me at humptydumptytribe at gmail.com. If there's some place in the Yucatan, I have a month to kill down there. Uh, so if there's any place where that you know of that's, that's just a do not miss destination uh, please let me know so uh, but that 
I just want to, I'm sure I've told this story. I, I have a request from Forcing Climate, whatever that dude from Sweden, whatever your name is, Forcing Climate Info or whatever. He wants to hear more ham bone stories. So, the last time I was in the Yucatan was 1974 when uh, I traveled to the Yucatan in Belize and Guatemala. It's 1974, so I was a 14-year-old kid, and uh, my mother and I went down there on this trip uh, with this wild man. I still remember his, his name was Law, L-A-U. He was the trip leader. It was some, something to do with the New York Zoological Society and the Massachusetts Audubon Society. Put together this trip, <laughs> this crazy, it was a month-long trip that we went down there. And uh, my mother, you know, she was a real adventurer. So uh, we go down there with this group, and there were like, there was the trip leader, and then the the uh, co-trip leader. Her name was Cindy, and Cindy was a major nymphomaniac. I mean, a serious nymphomaniac. I could have lost my virginity with Cindy. She was 22. She was an older, exotic woman. Uh, Cindy tried uh, at least once to seduce me. And, uh, and 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 I'm I have been kicking myself. Good God, guys, for pretty much 50 years. Uh, but anyway, I, I I let that one go. Uh, but I did get my first beaver shot. I remember on that trip from uh, the 22-year-old Cindy giving me a beaver shot, a full-on beaver shot. So that's probably the the biggest memory of my of my trip, uh, having this exotic older 22 year old woman giving me beaver shots, and uh, I, I did not take the hint. Uh, anyway, but that's not the story I'm here to tell. So. It was technically this. Uh, it was an eco tour. It was. It, it was when eco tourism really was eco tourism. And uh, so this guy, this zoologist, uh, who, who was this wild. He he was a great guy. Law or Lau L A U. Anyway, so he put together this tour. So we started out in the Yucatan. <clears throat> And I remember we got off on this crazy, I mean, I was a 14-year-old boy. I, I was in paradise, man, driving around in these uh, goddamn uh, Land Rovers. Uh, Law drove the Land Rover, and uh, Cindy drove the Toyota Jeep. And uh, so <laughs> we had these two cars. And we took this wild ass trip. I, I mean, uh, through the swamps and uh, good God, the rutted out dirt roads. Uh, wherever we were, I mean, we were deep in the wilderness. This was 1974. And so, I mean, we were way back there in the middle of nowhere busting through the mangroves and stuff and my mother and uh and the other people on the tour like what in the fuck is this guy what kind of adventure is he dragging us off on so we were going to go camping on this deserted beach that this dude had had uh found this completely deserted beach in the middle of fucking nowhere and uh, so we were actually going to go camping on this beach for a, a couple of nights obviously this was the one of the most exciting nights of my life so we finally 
burst through all of the the mangroves and everything on this jeep trail and we come out on this beach i mean as far as you could see it was this unbroken white sugar sand beach this absolutely gorgeous tropical paradise i mean every gringo's fantasy and so we pull up not not one human being as far as you can see in any direction uh not one human being as far as you can see we're pitching our tents out on this tropical beach and uh so i, I go for a walk and I don't know, it, it, it couldn't be very far from where we were camping. And what I came up on, and, 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 and I will remember this scene till the day I die. What it was, was this line of sea turtles, these big ass sea turtles. And they were on their backs. They were lying on their backs and their flippers, their front and back flippers, they were crossed like this, and someone had punched holes through their flippers so they couldn't right themselves and, and tied these ropes holding their flip. There were like six of these giant turtles on their backs, and they all had their necks out, and they were, you know... It, it was these mother sea turtles and what, and they were trying to, uh, using their heads to flip, you know, to turn back over. They were out there and the, the sun was starting to go down and it was, I, I mean, it was this horrific scene. Absolutely horrific scene and we're sitting there flipping out like what the fuck are we looking at and, and thinking about you know we need to cut these goddamn cords and flip these turtles over that this beautiful tropical uh, beach had just turned into this killing zone so we're standing around then we see these guys coming and what it was were, were, were these fuckers they were coming and they had a uh, the, the, these ponies, like Shetland ponies. Uh, I mean, this is some sick shit. And, uh, and, and, and what they did, uh, they, weren't, they weren't that friendly when they came up and saw the, you know, this bunch of fucking gringos uh, out on this beach in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of fucking nowhere. And what they did was they tied these ponies, they would tie the ponies to the turtles that were still on their back and, and drag these turtles off and they, and they hitched them to the, and, and dragged the turtles off and good God, I, I, I don't, I don't even want to fucking know. Uh, you know, I mean, it, 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 it was, it, it was just this absolute brutal scene and it, it, uh, it, it pretty much ruined the, the whole fucking night. We, I mean, we were completely fucking bummed out by this, uh, just, this out of nowhere stumbling onto this, you know, this, this, this horror. Uh, so these fucking guys disappear. So somehow, you know, we get through the night and uh, camping on that beautiful uh, beach out of the, I mean, having this beach entirely to ourselves. As far as you could see in any direction, there was not one light. I mean, it was the wilderness. And so we're, I don't remember how many days we're there, so... Anyway, when we deal with the damn turtles, and then what happens, uh, I guess it was the very next morning. We're there, uh, you know, hanging out on the beach and snorkeling and stuff, 
and uh, th these fucking um, this this truck just arrives out of nowhere, just, you know, just comes out of the forest, kind of, you know, where this, basically, this jeep trail was, and, and these guys start pouring out of this truck, like, right, right there, right, right there in front of our tents, uh, on this beautiful beach, and they start setting up this, uh, you know, surveying equipment. You know, they're fucking tripods or anything. They're going along. It's, it's like they don't even see it. Like, like what in the fuck is this? Uh, so th they, they're they obviously surveying this beach. And um, and, and so in, in our, none of us really spoke Spanish. But what we gathered was what they were telling us in 1974 is these guys were explaining to us what they were doing. I guess they were from the Mexican government. Is is that they were surveying this beach out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Okay? And and, and they were talking about that them they were going to build this city. That there was going, that there was going to be, you know, they were describing this this absolute fucking, uh, well, they were describing a, a nightmare is what they were describing, that, and they were talking about all of these plans to uh, that this beautiful beach was going to be some. It was going to be some big famous vacation destination and shit. And, uh, you know, talking about all of these buildings and this highway they were going to be ramming down the coast. And, and like, we were just looking at them and just laughing. Uh, they had clearly uh, lost their fucking minds. And... Uh, so we were there for a couple of days, then I, uh, from that beach, and then I remember the next stop was this tiny little sleepy village called Cozumel. We spent the night in this little bitty fishing village called Cozumel, and uh, we were, uh, I don't have much memory of that. I just remember that we were in this place called Cozumel after this other beach, and uh, I think you know where this story is going. And that beach was Cancun, that we were like the last group of people to see uh, Cancun before it had, uh, and I've never been back to Cancun. Just the, I, I don't know, I mean, obviously, guys, I'm going to have to go, we're, we're going to have to go to Cancun just so I can walk out to that beach in 2022 and, 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 and like, and, and, and look at that and remember, uh, and remember uh, the, the that time in 1974 when I uh, was camping in a hammock uh, on this deserted beach of, uh, of the Sea Turtle Massacre. Anyway, you know, it just... Uh, It is what it is. It is what it is, and uh, I will definitely have to check out that new uh, Mayan Express tourist train that they're ramming uh, up and down the uh, Yucatan Peninsula that Manga Bay is warning us about the latest uh, ecological disaster down there. But at least I can say, uh, I was at Cancun. <laughs>
before all hell broke loose. But anyway, if any of you guys by any chance know of any of the Cancuns from 1974 that I have got to go see before it's gone, to go get down there to uh, Belize and see while I still can, I would really appreciate any tips that you might have. Because, uh, we're fucked. I would like to think that at age 63, 49 years later, or is it 59 years later? I mean, 49 years later? Good God. Uh... There's still something left out there. But, uh, I won't hold my breath. What do you think, little dog? Uh, you want to hop in the truck and drive to Belize? What do you think? And that is that. Wish me luck. Bye, guys.